Agent Schoolander, what does SHIELD stand for? System of hypothetical Inuit exclamation land doppelgangers? No. One of the biggest unifying factors of the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been the super secret spy agency called SHIELD, yeah. the Strategic Homeland Intervention and Enforcement Logistics Division. Yeah, of course. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. What do they do again? Uh, spy stuff. <laughs> What we've got here is the Toys R Us exclusive Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 3-pack, mm. um, which has brand new figure of Agent Coulson, first ever figure of Maria Hill from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and a mostly recycled Nick Fury. <laughs> With a different head on. No, it's actually the same head that they gave him on a, a different figure release, so oh, okay. it's just slightly repainted. Hey, well it's still cool to have a three-pack of three characters that are really cool characters, very liked, loved characters. Absolutely. And one of the really cool things is that you're probably not going to find any other way to be able to get out Agent Coulson, who's basically just a guy in a suit. Mm. <laughs> um, you know, it's not the most exciting look for an action figure in the world. Don't know how many kids are going, I really want the guy who looks like a tax inspector. Um, probably a lot now, figure. though. Well, now? After the show. Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, agents of tax, you know, really exciting, and, and people want to go, I want a guy in a suit. It looks like every other guy in a suit. <laughs> Let's just upload the specs to HQ. Good idea. Yeah. They're using a lot of reused parts here. Mm. Um, the Agent Coulson body has been used again already to do a civilian version of Bruce Banner and is being reused again and again to do just the suited characters throughout the Marvel Legends line. Nick Fury is basically a complete repurpose of what was originally the Ultimate Nick Fury figure that we took a look at. Yeah, we've seen him. Captain yeah. America Nick mm -hmm. Fury 2-pack. And they have actually utilised the same head when they did a Captain America, the first Avenger, uh, six-inch line. And Maria Hill has some parts in common with um, Black Widow's figure, mm -hmm. uh, which kind of makes sense when you consider that they're both supposed to be sort of shield-issued jumpsuits. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's actually a few new bits and pieces actually sculpted in there, which really helps her stand out. And of course the head is fantastic, that really nails the likeness perfectly. I like the double joints of the elbows and the knees. Do they work better than other figures, do you think? Or? The double joints definitely work a lot better than, than the single joint. You do see that on Maria Hill that she only has the single joint in the arm there. Yeah. And that's something which they seem to do a lot for certainly female characters. Is that just because the, the arm is small? I, I think that's probably the major reason for it. Agent Coulson, of course, does have the, the double articulation there, as does Nick Fury. Uh, Nick unfortunately suffers from that particular design. The coat just means his arm can't come down because he can't get the arm down there. Mm. Um, and that is annoying and doesn't make him look that great. I want it fixed just like you found it. Now, one of the nice things here that you do get with some Marvel Legends is we do actually have an alternate head for Agent Coulson, mm. which I think the likeness is just off a little bit. Yep. To me it kind of looks a bit more like how Agent Coulson looks in the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon rather than Agent Coulson in the movie. So part of me wonders, was that head thrown in there in a nod to that TV series rather than the movies? Mm. I don't know. Uh, but it is nice to be able to have the option of you know, the full-on Agent Smith look style or a, or a friendlier glasses-less version. Yeah. One of the other nice features about these figures is that Nick Fury does actually have working holsters. Um, mm. You can actually take the pistols out of his leg holster as well as his jacket holster. Unfortunately, Maria Hill doesn't get that. Um, she gets a couple of sculpted in their pistols in oh. her hips. They're not removable. Um, mm. You can swap out the pistols that Sam Jackson's holding yeah. um, to give to Colby there. But you'd really kind of wish that they actually had working holsters there, um, especially for a character like Maria Hill, who really, she needs her weapons. So those are our thoughts of the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 3-pack. Very cool toys of very cool characters. If you like these guys, comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for weekly videos. We're out of here for now. But we will be back. Hail Hydra!